Hello and welcome to another Random Tech 887 review. And today we're going to be looking at the Waveshare Raspberry Pi 3 7 inch 1024 by 600 display. Now I purchased this for a Raspberry Pi 3, um, but currently I've got it connected to my Dell XPS uh, 15 here. Um, and I can confirm that this is the revision 2.1. So what this means generally is it's um, a generic HID device interface device so even windows recognizes it you can see the drag on my on here um it's got two connections one one input for micro usb and another input for hdmi in i can confirm that you can run this at higher resolutions and it will just scale down which is quite good um the gene the actual quality of the display it full of money i'm quite impressed by the backlight is nice and bright, the colours don't look too saturated, they look okay, it's not the best display in the world, but, you know, get what you pay for, I've paid I think £50 for this, um, but quality wise I'm quite impressed with it, and it's just perfect for what I wanted to use for, as other ones I've been seeing I have are not um, HID generic, so there's a lot of driver installation and custom um, lots of custom work required but I haven't tried this on the Raspberry Pi actually yet so I have to confirm that at a later date but let me know if you want to see a follow-up video on this in the box what do we get get some screws I'm not really sure what these are for just probably to mount it it's got some screw holes here as you can see um, got a driver CD um, I haven't looked at that yet, probably has all the um, images for the Raspberry Pi 3 and drivers, etc. What else do we have? A letter of thanks. Which is alright. Um, we got another one, we got another sheet here, which is... Obviously it's not in English. Um, but this is the configuration for... The Raspberry Pi we need to change in the config file, I assume. Um, but yeah, apart from that, there's nothing else in the box. Um, I'll show you around here on the device. So this is the back. As you can see, it has a backlight on and off switch. No on, no um, direct on and off. Uh, I assume when you cut power, obviously it will turn off. Um, but yeah, quite impressed with this little display. This is just a quick overview. I might have a follow-up video of used with the, the complete project, which I won't tell you lot about yet, but I'll leave you lot guessing for that one. Anyway, this has been a Random Tech 887 review. Thanks for watching. Give me a comment, a like. Give me a subscribe if you like. Alright, peace.